Right, hi everybody. Um, just a quick video. I've been up early this morning and I've been painting backgrounds. This is one that's had most attention um, and this is another one that I'm going to do something with later. Because the little books that I had on my blog yesterday, quite a few of them have got little bits of painted paper in like this. And these are backgrounds that I've made in the past and I keep them for things like this. Um, so I cut them up and distribute them in different amounts throughout these little books and see if there's any more in here. There's another bit there in this one. I'm trying not to get this near the paint. Um, so because I've made these books, I've made six in total. Two were reserved and four were in the shop yesterday and thank you so much they've all gone already. Um, so you know I've used quite a bit of this kind of stuff. See if there's any more. No I don't think there is in that one so yeah so that's what i've been doing so i'll put that away away from the paint so this one it's been in progress this morning i've been waiting for it to dry a bit and then doing a bit more so what i thought i'd do is i just i've only got my blue and white ink here um artist's acrylic ink got it on my finger already um so i'm just gonna like dab a few squares into the squares that i've already made and i'm not concerned with the paint being less opaque in some than in others. By that I mean if my brush is a bit dry, I'm not really bothered about that because I think it adds to it if you've got different shades going on. So this could probably take me, um, in addition to what I'm doing on camera now, off camera, possibly 40 minutes maybe. Um, so if I just put that brush there, I'll just get a got some like napkin things here I'll put it on there because although I'm painting on an old bit of board I don't want to get paint all over it because it's not good for when you're putting it away and I'll do some white just to mix it up a bit and it's so basic but then I could come back if I'd thought ahead which I never do and brought a different brush with me I could come back and cross hatch on these. In fact, I might do it just like with this. So I've got whatever's left on that blue brush and this is still wet, so it might, but I'll try. There, just adding a little bit of something else to that surface. I think the one I showed you that was in the book had um, some kind of texture medium in it. And that was in the days when I used to have a lot of stuff like that. When I was like at uni and that, you had to have stuff like that. I don't really have anything like that anymore. I don't buy it because as you know, I'm all about the embroidery. I need to extend those because I don't like the fact that they look as if they're little squares within a square. So that's better. And maybe just do one line across that one. So this is just with what was left on that blue brush. Now I've got water here to wash that out of my brush. So I'll just keep going for a little bit. I'll put some more white ones on. I'll just get that brush out of the water and put it on that bit of uh, tissue. And add some more white. Now I'm wondering, see in some of these lines here, the dab is all that's needed because they're not very wide, you can't get the proper cube shape going on there. So like there. Now I'm probably, in all honesty, not gonna immediately finish this when I turn off because I've got video to make for class. Um, but it's in progress and later on this afternoon, <coughs> hopefully I'll get a bit of time. So let's go back to the blue. And then let's see if I can get some blue lines in here as well. But you know, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that it's the most amazing thing you've ever seen, but for something to cut up and to use with other stuff, it's a, what I would call, you know, like in your cupboard, you have staples in your cupboard, like flour and 
whatever you have, I don't know, because I'm not a chef. Pulses, dried peas and things, I don't know. This is a staple for me when I'm making little books. This kind of background paper. Um, <clears throat> so. so that's how it's looking now. And I need to think about what I'm going to do on that pink. I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do with that. So maybe something will come to me when I'm making my video for class. But that's how it's building up. I'm looking, trying to look here, five minutes. So that's just a quick, quick thing for you. I mean, you might not want to watch it. I mean, I'm sure some of you, most of you, all of you, can do better bits of paper than this. But it's just a little bit of something to, that hopefully goes somewhere to explaining to you about that kind of thing that's in my book. Um, I don't sit here doing individual little bits of painted paper um, but I do have a stock well I don't anymore well not very much anyway of painted papers that are for that purpose for any design work if not in them little books maybe in my own ledgers and things so there I hope that was okay